This is problem number two from section 3.3. In this problem it says find the first and second derivatives. And you'll notice we have uh, the base e to the x power, so we have a little exponential there. Before we start, I want to talk about what the derivative of e to the x is. So the derivative of e to the x is just e to the x. And the derivative of e to the 2x is 2e to the 2x. And the derivative of e to the negative x is negative e to the negative x. You should be able to see the pattern now that we're bringing the coefficient of the top function to the front on each of these. So we do derivative of e to the Let's do negative 3x. This is going to be negative 3e to the negative 3x. So find the derivative of this, uh, this exponential is pretty, pretty easy for the, nat for the uh, uh, natural, or not the natural log, but the uh, base e. So let's go ahead and uh, evaluate this. So when we find the derivative of this function, we're finding the derivative of each term individually. So we're going to say dy over dx, so this is the first derivative, equals, we take the power, bring it to the front, so it's 4 times 5 over 4. And then we're going to say x to the uh, 4 minus 1. Minus, bring the 1 to the front, so this would be 1 uh, times x to the 1 minus 0, because this has a power of 1, plus 8, and then we have e to the x. We know the derivative of e to the x is just e to the x, so we end up with 8 e to the x. This equals, the 4's cancel here, we're left with 5x cubed. This will be just 1 here, right, uh, x to the... Oh, and I meant to say 1 minus 1, not 1 minus 0. 1 minus 1. I was thinking I was getting it x to the 0, which I do. 1 minus 1 is x to the 0 power. And we know x to the 0 power is 1. So this is minus 1 plus 8e to the x. So this is the first derivative here. The second derivative with respect to x is going to be bring the 3 to the front. So 3 times 5 x squared, right, subtract 1 from the 3. The derivative of negative 1, derivative of a constant, is just 0, so that's gone. And then we have plus, remember, 8e to the x. Well, e to the x, derivative of that is just itself, so it's 8e to the x. So we end up with 15x squared plus 8e to the x. And that's the second derivative. 